All right, today's video is brought to you by this cup of espresso and Figma, not sponsored. But what we want to achieve today is basically two things. Learn a few tools in Figma and also learn how to make something practical and useful for your social media in Figma. So two things and I think this is going to be very useful if you are any type of designer, graphic designer, web designer, web developer can apply to copywriters or anybody who wants to promote their work online in the form of carousels and especially seamless carousels because this attract more attention and they look much much more professional in my opinion. And yes of course you can make seamless carousels to some degree in Canva, but I think Figma gives you a more flexible way of designing this. And you will see when we get to our Figma board what I mean and let's just get into it already. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, this carousel here that I created a while back, actually last week, looks a little bit crazy, doesn't make any sense. Things are coming out of frames, right? But we will see that this actually does not matter. And let's get into building our carousel. So we're gonna start with a shape, a rectangular shape, and we're gonna give this a size of 180 by 180 because this is the size of the Instagram or LinkedIn images. We are going to give this a color. For now, we are just going to choose a random color that we have here. I'm gonna copy and paste this in here. And I am going to duplicate this shape and I'm going to basically align it next to the other one. And basically right now they look like they are just one shape. So I'm gonna do the same four times. Oops, seems like it's not aligned. Okay, it is now. And another one. And they are aligned. So because we cannot see right now where one shape ends and where one starts, we need to basically use our rulers. So in order to activate the ruler, go to the Figma logo here on top and go all the way to view and you will see here the rulers. So mine is ticked, but if I untick it, I don't see it. If I go back to view and tick it, it is in view. So I'm going to drag one ruler and as you can see it snaps right in here at the end of the first frame and snaps right here as oops as you can see this is the end of the second frame and we're gonna do the same for the next frame and it is right here okay so now we have some kind of guidance where our designs will be placed at the intersection of these two, let's say, frames or here or here. All right, so these are the assets that we are going to be working with today. I'm going to start basically first with this. Let me just bring this to front and zoom in so you can see. I will just place this right here. And I am going to go and select basically this one and I'll bring it down. I'll bring it to front. And now I'm going to be using one plugin that I use quite a lot for this purpose. And it's called Skew That. And in order obviously to access the plugins or search for a plugin, you just go here at uh, plugins, <laughs> obviously at the bar on the bar top and look for your plugin. So we have this plugin activated and we have selected the frame and I am going to try to skew it to give it an elegant skew. Maybe this one is nice. I think I like this one. So I'm going to try to place it as um, interesting as possible to go from one frame to the next one. As you can see, a little bit less than half of it goes on the next frame. And I think it's interesting enough. Yes, I think I like it here. And as you can see, my frame already, let me just apply it. My frame already has a shadow because I previously played around with this plugin. It's called Smooth Shadow and you can just run it and play around with your shadows. And uh, you don't see it very well because the background is 
darker but if I now you can see it if I do this you can see it even more but I don't like that and as you can see the more you drag it to the right more shadow layers you get all right I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now and what I'm gonna do, I am going to bring in these assets that I have here. Unfortunately, I have the computer on the other side because I'm recording with my continu continuity camera and it needs to be on this side and it's very difficult for me. So let me just bring the whole... Mm -hmm. All right, so let's group this. And what I'm gonna do is bring it to front and drag it on and bring this to front and we have it right there okay that looks good what is this Let's send this to back okay makes more sense so let's just bring this a little bit this way I think it looks okay let me just turn this off we can play with this around in a little bit let me just copy paste this frame and create another one and what I want to do with this frame is basically give it an effect of blur background blur uh, of a hundred and twenty five to make sense in a bit and I think it looks cool that's I like it at least as you can see it's very blurry and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring this to front and we have background blur in the background let's copy this again and I'm gonna copy paste it right here I'm gonna send it to back and send this to back send this to back I don't know if there is a better way to do this probably there is but right now I can't think of any all right so this one maybe reduce the blur to a hundred keep in mind we are at the intersection of two shapes here this shape and there is another shape behind here obviously and basically we were going we are going to see this in this frame and the rest in the other frame this is what you have to keep in mind when you are working with seamless carousels so what i'm gonna do next is i'm going to bring this in here bring it to front and i will paste it here paste i will drop it here like this and I think that's pretty cool. And what I'm going to do next is I have these shapes here. Let me bring them down and let's skew this as well. Okay, that's nice enough, right? get another one of these tags and I'm going to drop it in here and basically add it right there at the intersection honestly at this point I don't know how this looks uh, the only thing we can do is basically um, just cut them and see what we achieve I recommend that you select the whole carousel, everything, and you group them in a big one happy selection because it's going to make your life much easier when you slice them. Okay, so now we're going to do select the slice tool and I am going to basically drag it as a shape and I'm going to give this a size, the same size as our shape right that we have created for each carousel image just place it on top of the frame make sure that it fits and hit export and it's going to say export slice it needs to say export slice 
it needs to be a slice. Hit it and we have a slice and now we are going to move it to our next slice and let's select it and this is a bit tricky it's gonna require a little bit of patience on your part and let me find let me just undo this is quite tricky i have to admit all right let's export this slice and it worked and i'm going to drag this slice to the next frame basically export wonderful it worked and let's place it here right in there export slice and it worked and let me show you our slices so this is one second yeah third and where is our fourth slice here we are as you can see it's pretty seamless and if i put them together they do match and this and they match and i obviously exported them as pngs these are fine for our instagram account but for linkedin we need to upload pdfs and in order to do that basically we are going to need a tool to that to do that i have a png to pdf tool and i am going to drag them all in here so make sure that they are in the order that they need to appear in the carousel and once they are uh, uploaded you just hit combine and they are exported as a pdf and here we are this is our pdf as you can see unfortunately you cannot see them side by side in this case i don't know how you would be able to do this but if you upload it on linkedin account they will look seamless as you have seen from this video, I have used quite a few Figma plugins and if you'd like to see what other plugins I recommend, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!